These aren't God-made animals, these are human-made animals. This is nothing from God, this is something humans have created for our greed. Yeah. Have you seen this before, bro? Do you know what this is? Yeah, I'm seeing it. I've already been the video is talking about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're trying to get people to stop uh, eating animals and using animals, especially around this time of year. What do you think about that? No, I can't, I can't say that you can't stop eating animals, yeah. to be honest. You don't say that? No, no, but like the way that they slaughtered them, is, is, that's the way that I don't think it's, it's good to me. You think that the way they slaughtered them is bad? Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's good. But it's not bad that they slaughtered them? No, because that, that, that's what I think is life. That's life? Do you think we can live without slaughtering animals? I don't think so. Really? Yeah. What makes you say that? Because I think from when human beings have been there, they're eating animals. So I don't think that they can change it from now. Because like something happens from like centuries. Oh, so you mean more like they, they, they have a habit, so they can't change that habit? Uh -huh. But I mean, do you think physically we can live without slaughtering animals? But I think, uh, uh, like, what do you want to eat? Like carrots and broccoli and that kind of thing. Like, what are we going to eat? Uh -huh. Well, we, we, we can eat, like, there's like th thousands of plant foods to eat. There's only, there's only like a dozen animal products, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> there's thousands of plant foods and we can get our protein and um, nutrients from plants and with a B12 supplement, we can, I've been vegan for seven years, so. So you've got whole grains, legumes, nuts and seeds and fruits and vegetables and we can, uh, now, like, I don't know if you want some food, but we're, we're giving out no turkey turkey sandwiches. So it's, uh, it's, it's meat made out of wheat. Like seitan. Yeah, I know, I know, I know what you You can make meat out of pe peas. Um, so yeah, you can still have a burger. It's made out of peas. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know, I know, I know your topic. I know what you're feeling of it. So I'm like having only a hundred conversation because I know your way. I know what I'm talking about. Oh really? That's like uh, it's like something you know like uh, it's a good that you express your things. It's good that you put in this kind of videos. So it's like I'm not like against. Vegan, don't eat vegan. I'm the same thing. I'm not against like don't eat animals. Yeah. You so say you're not against this. You you support this. What you see on the screens? No, no. <clears throat> not the same way. Because like, see, because I'm, I'm a Muslim. So the same the things are how they slaughter the things. We have like we have like a rules. Halal. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know all about it. Yeah. So we have. Like, I have many discussions with Muslims about this topic. Yeah. Like, so, yeah. Like, so because I know how like there's a rule that you need to slaughter the animal. Okay. Not yeah. the same as. And this. you you where do you get your meat from? A butcher? Oh yes. Okay. And you follow the, the animal down the line, you, you know where that farm, what farm the animal come from? No. You, you trust the butcher? No, 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 nowadays, yes. Okay. Because like, we, get the, we get the meat from them. Like, okay. Uh, and not like in the city, so it would so yeah. be like in a... Suburb? Like, yeah, something yeah. like this. I would get my, my, my sheep and I'll outsort it, but like, because now it's in the city. Okay. Right? That's, that's the thing. Okay, okay. yeah, yeah. Where do you get your halal meat from? So you're out now, what, what do you eat? You go to Subway? No, no, it's like, any place. Any place that serves halal meat. Yeah. yeah, and it just says halal and you trust them. Yes. Because they, they, okay. they have the because one of them say halal and they have the certificate there. Oh, okay. So that's and how do they slaughter halal animals in the UK? Uh, what I know is that the same thing for the tibla and then they say bismillah and they cut it. That's the thing. Okay, do you think they stun halal animals here? Like with the stunning device? I like so. I think you know, that shock them to make them go to sleep or they put a bolt in their head? No. Yeah. I mean, I know what you think of halal slaughter. You think, oh, they face here, they do say a prayer, they make sure the animals don't see each other and they slash their throat, yeah? Yeah. yeah that's the thing. You think they do that here in the UK? That's what they need to do, and that's what the Islamic uh, yeah. association and, tries and, and to do. And where make. do the animals come from? They come from factory farms, the chickens and the... Yeah, yeah, yeah they, they, they come from factory farms. Yeah, and then suffering is haram, yeah? Suffering what? If an animal suffers, it's haram, yeah? Yes. Okay, you don't think they're suffering in the factory farms before they're halal slaughtered? I don't have that kind of idea okay. there. I don't have any okay. image. I want to know. I want to know what you think about the, the. If suffering is haram, do you yeah, think these animals that you eat are suffering? I, I mean, I know you don't know they're suffering because yeah. you just trust. You just like, oh, it's 
It's got this magical word on it. I trust there's no suffering. No, no, no. So I'm not talking about like, well, at, at least there's because like, we're human. We're human beings. So human beings make some some mistakes. I don't think that everyone's uh, everyone who sells halal meats like they don't suffer the animals. Well, everyone doesn't suffer the animals. I'll say they, they all depends, suffer. Yeah, they say, all suffer. Yeah, it depends on the humans what they what they got to do. They all suffer. Yeah. Even when you slash an animal's throat open, they choke on their own blood and they're scared. You see an animal when they're about to die? Have you seen a cow get their throat slashed? Yeah. Traditional... I've made it already. You've done it yourself? Yeah. Okay, do you think that animal suffered? What'd you kill, a cow or a lamb? Both. You've killed them both. And that animal, did they suffer? I know, but like, I need to eat them. That's the thing. Yeah, but brother, I, I, I just yeah. want to know, like, if they suffered. Yeah, they suffered. Yeah, because they choke on their blood and it takes them a while to die. I stop kicking, yeah? Uh -huh. So, that's the thing. That's haram. I don't know, wait, but when, when you do this thing, you take out the blood from, from the body, so like the disease goes out. That's that's the wisdom from the from the thingy. Why why mm -hmm. why you, why you made the blood goes out first? Well, like, I, I don't, I'm not talking about the health side of it. I'm talking no, about I'm the, the ethic, doing the, the suffering. Yeah, I'm talking about why they're doing this. They're making sure they don't see the, each other, so they don't know they're about to be killed. Yeah, uh -huh. but the thing, like but they don't do that in the in the West here when you eat halal meat. Yeah. I mean. I've seen what you're talking about, yeah, you know. know. It's like now if you bring like, if you have five sheep here or five cows. Okay. You don't kill them in the same place. No. You take the four out. Yeah. And then you bring one. You I've seen them. it. Yeah, yeah, that, Traditional it. halal slaughter. Yeah. yeah, yeah. They don't, I mean, here you're getting your halal meat from factories. Yeah. See, I see. I came, I came from Saudi Arabia. So okay. I'm just, I'm, I'm a student okay. here. So I don't know the thing that you, because you're living here more than me. See? Well, I know a little bit about the halal slaughter guidelines here. They're not too much different. I yeah, mean, yeah. there's a little bit, maybe, uh, you know, it, but they're still stunning the animals, a lot of them, yeah, yeah. you know. You know, like, because I came from that, that back there, back there, so I know yeah. how it's there. You assume that it's like it is over there. Yeah, that, that's the thing. Okay, but you, know, you know more than me, because yeah. you're living here. Well, I just want to tell you, a vegan is always halal. Yeah, I know. Is always halal. Yeah, yeah. I know. And you know. You don't have to trust the butcher. You know vegan is always halal. Yeah, but... Because like, plants don't suffer. There's no halal slaughter of carrots. Yes, I know. Yeah. But, like, I'm not into that kind of... I eat vegetables. Yeah. But, but don't give me, me like, so is it like a, you know, like a bowl of salad, I'm not eating a bowl of salad. No, no, we, we're having no turkey rolls here, it's no, meat. No, 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 it's meat, it's meat. It's, like, it's made of plants, so. I know what you're talking about. Like for me, when I hear it, I say, no, no, I'm having a meat. You yeah, but... It's like, it's like, it's something which I got Do you prefer to chop off an animal's head than have the plants? You know what I mean? Like your, your preference is the meat, but you know there's an animal having their head chopped off for that. But that, that's, what, that's what I said, it's like. It's not life. It doesn't have to be life anyway. And now, like, I want to know, like, do you eat fish? Yes. You know, fish suffer. And there's no halal slaughter guidelines for fish. They just suffer and they... Every, they... every, every, every sea animal is like halal for you. Yeah, but that doesn't no, make sense because... Like, 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 it's like, there's, because, like, there's, you don't need, you don't need, like, to chop it or do something. They just suffocate. They torn out the ocean and they suffer and die. They suffer longer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm saying they suffer more. In seafood suffers more. Fish suffer more. So, what, what, in the in the Quran, they wrote that that long ago. They didn't think fish suffer back then. Now we've got science. We know fish suffer. So that's haram. But like that's if you want to eat. Well, so you, you, ah, dude. But you've got choice. What's more halal, eating plants or cutting an animal's head off or making fish suffer? If you're talking about this thing, it's like it's an, uh, it's plants. I know. Okay. Uh, yeah. no, right now, right now, I'm saying right here. It's more halal to eat plants. And also like the dairy industry, I don't know if you eat cheese and milk from a cow. Okay, do they kill them in a halal way? You know they kill all those animals. For cheese? Yeah. No, when they don't produce milk anymore, uh -huh. they kill them and send them to make McDonald's out of their, their bodies, turn them into burgers. Uh -huh. Yeah, so do you think they're slaughtered halal when you buy meat, uh, milk? They're suffering in the dairy industry because they take their calves away from them. That's not, that's not halal, that's haram. Yeah, it's yeah. suffering. It's suffering. That's what I'm saying. When you can avoid this, you know, it'd still be a good Muslim. There's a lot, I know a lot of vegan Muslims. You know, I'm not saying like believe in God, um, practice your religion. Yeah, even I, I, say, I eat these kind of things. I don't say I'll eat, but I cannot say like take this, take the meats off, and just let let, let us eat vegan. You know, like I eat like the, the falafel wrap, the yeah. vegan burger. I, I eat these kind of things. Yeah. I'm not like I'm against that kind of things. I eat. Them. But like, don't say to me, leave the meat and eat only continue. Well, I'm just saying if you're against suffering and animal cruelty, then you should. You should. You morally should. And if you, if you care about what's halal, I mean, you're just, you're just saying, oh, it's halal, I've got a free ticket out. No, I'm telling you that you're eating haram food. It's all suffering. But like, even in the Quran, it's written that uh, we made animals, that certain kind of animals, to eat so you can live. 
but you don't need them to live. So you now you're doing something that's unnecessary. It's needless. You're killing needlessly. Yeah. I mean, I don't know if that's good in the eyes of God. I mean, okay, you you're survive. You have to survive. Maybe that's fine. You, you got to survive. You're going to kill me to survive. I, I could understand. Now it's needless cruelty and suffering. Yeah, what I, you, know, see, I know that you, what you're talking about, and even I cannot answer what you're talking about. So it's like you know, it's like you're you're like one one point ahead of me. But I'm not trying to be, dude. I'm just, no, no, no. I'm just trying to speak from the, the animals here. They're suffering. It's I'm obvious. Talking, I'm talking about yeah. me. What, what, what you're talking to, it's obvious. Yeah. It's, it's, it's like, obvious. And in like your heart. Halas, it's like, halas, you have that kind of thing. Yeah. Don't, see, I don't see that stop animals. See that, if, see that, uh, see that about, see that about chicken, there's like, see that uh, 10 million chickens have been uh, sorted every day. See that, see, see, see as a, see as a number. That does make it 850 million a year in the UK alone. Yeah, yeah I'm saying so let's let's make it 200 million a year. It's about 50 billion worldwide chickens. Yeah, that's you know how many know. fish? Three trillion, two between one and three trillion marine yeah, animals. That's what I'm you know how much suffering that is? I know. I'm that's saying, a lot of suffering. Uh, yeah, I know. I'm not talking about numbers. I'm talking about, as you said, three trillions of fish. Don't, uh, don't start at three billion of fish. Sort of like a like like a, like a, tri like a one billion. It doesn't matter. In the eyes of God, you make one animal suffer. That's haram. Yeah. It doesn't matter, one. You don't need to, you know? I know what you're talking yeah. about. Yeah. I know what you're yeah. talking about. Yeah. I know that you, I know what you're saying, Eve, because like, I'm feeling what you're saying. Yeah. And in your heart, like God created, you believe God created us all, yeah? yeah? With compassion and conscience. You know right from wrong. It doesn't matter what's written in a book that, the God, that God didn't write. If you believe God created us, when you look at this cruelty, when you look at this suffering, when you see an animal get their throat slashed open and they're struggling and they're scared, what does your heart tell you? And that's God talking to you. This isn't right. You don't need to do this. Now, you can justify it to yourself if you had to. If you're in a survival situation in the eyes of God, it's not, you, you did what you had to do. But when you don't need to do it, can you really justify that? You know right now you can be vegan here in the UK. You know that. And you can still be a Muslim. It's not haram to be vegan. It's halal. It's more halal. I eat vegan. Yeah, yeah. I eat this kind of But you still choose to be cruel to the animals. And you know now in your conscience, in your heart, when you leave here today, you know when you buy that meat, Animals suffered and died. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. So like, I can give you this. That you're right. What you're talking about, yeah. about like the suffering thing. See, like you know, like you know, it's, it's like you're talking about something that I never, uh, I didn't, I didn't even think. About. You took the religion and you took it all hook, line, and sinker without analysing things. I'm not saying God isn't doesn't exist or whatever. No, no, no. You know, no, that's I'm, not for me to tell you. You know, it's like I'm talking when 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 I say that ah oh, they're suffering. Like, that's like that's that's what they made for. Yeah. yeah. That's what that's what I was thinking. No, no. Ah. These animals are not even made by God. These are selectively bred animals made by humans. They don't exist in the wild. These aren't God-made animals. These are human-made animals. This is nothing from God. This is something humans have created for our greed. Yeah. That, that's haram. You go to a slaughterhouse, that's haram. There's blood and suffering and scared animals everywhere. That's, some, that's from the devil. I don't know if you believe in the devil if Muslims believe in the devil, but that's got nothing to do with God, what you see in a slaughterhouse. They're scared, terrified infant animals and they don't want to die. And if you think covering their eyes and slashing a sharp throat across their, a knife across their throat somehow makes it better or, or absolves you from what you're doing to this animal, it doesn't. It's, if anything, it's worse because you, you're trying to stop the suffering, but you're cutting off their head. So, so you think, okay, they don't deserve to suffer. You know, they don't deserve to suffer. So we're going to try to do this as good as possible. If they don't deserve to suffer, let them live, leave them alone. That's what's more consistent with the, the, the with God and with your religion, I feel. And I, I, I don't know much about Muhammad or whatever, but I, I could probably guess that if there was a way to live without slaughtering billions of animals, causing he would choose that way because maybe he's more smart, logical. Maybe God is intelligent. Yeah. This is like the most unintelligent, cruel thing we do. I can say that that, that thing wasn't there. Back then. No. The vegan. I'm talking about the vegan thing. No. Like, we have vegan. technology now. Yeah, that's what, that's what I, can, I cannot talk because that, that's what you... Was you, your mobile phone in the Quran? You still use it. Your mobile phone technology, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, can, you can progress with society as a Muslim. So you can progress now with eating plant-based yeah. foods. I mean... Yeah. I'm going to give you a little thing here. If you scan this, um, this will give you a little uh, Christmas download pack. It will show you where all the good uh, vegan stuff is at Christmas time. There's a there's something called Challenge 22. They help you be vegan. Um, Veganuary is another good one. If you want some food, man, we, we're handing out food as well. 
All right. I'm ready. I'm ready. I can tell you're ticking over, man. You're smart. You're not, you know. No, no, no. I, I had a good conversation. Yeah. yeah. That's like, that's, that's why I was standing here. I was waiting just for a conversation. Yeah. That, that was like a peace conversation. Yeah. Like, grown men's conversation yeah. not, not, not like it's honest man yeah, we're it's honest like, with each other yeah, you know what I mean it's not like the thing no it's, I'm good and you're, you're right and I'm right that's what I'm yeah. that's what that's what I liked from you yeah. you were like no you were yeah. hearing me and I was hearing you yeah that's good so have, have a good conversation bless you mate you. take care have you this is me in a turkey farm in the UK the other night not long ago they peck each other in there I would just asking people to be vegan so they stop paying for animals to be tortured and killed. Um, we think animals deserve respect and they don't deserve to be killed for a five minute meal that we forget about, you know. We don't need to eat meat to survive or be healthy. Um, so we're just like promoting compassion to animals and, you know. So where was this made? This is filmed in the UK. Um, we're focusing on turkey because it's Christmas. But we also, think that we shouldn't be eating any other animals or using other animals, you know, exploiting them for their skin. Yeah. Just that we think they feel pain, suffer. We don't need to kill them anymore. We're not trying to survive or anything anymore. And yeah. Yeah. So when you go home, they do like camel rides and stuff. I'm like, I always feel bad for yeah. them because I feel like, oh, yeah. camels are being, yeah. like, just being Yeah, they use as slaves, yeah. 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 It's unnecessary, yeah. needless. Yeah. Yeah. So like, I don't know, you guys live here? You guys live in the yeah. UK? Rochdale, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so most of the animals here are factory farmed. 95% uh, of the chickens, uh, over 90% of the pigs. I don't know, you probably don't eat pigs yourselves. Yeah, you Muslim? Yeah. Muslim? Yeah, so like the, uh, you know, the lambs and the cows and the dairy cows, they will go to the slaughterhouse, obviously. And um, yeah, well, to be, to be honest, we've actually stopped eating chicken. Like, we've not stopped completely all meats, but chicken is one thing that we have stopped. All and that's because of like my dad saying that it's just always injected and stuff like that. So even though you're getting the burgers and whatnot, it's like not the actual chicken. It's like all filled with chemicals and stuff. And we believe like that's what's actually causing cancer and stuff like that. So it could be because there was no such thing as cancer years ago and all that. And now everyone's getting all these illnesses. And it's like we believe it's probably from like all these meats that are being injected to like make them more. Well, it could be. There's a lot of hormones. I um, mean, yeah, and dairy's full of hormones and things like this. Yeah. I think, um, yeah, I mean, like what eating animals, using animals is harming us yeah. on a health level. There's, there's cholesterol that clogs our arteries as well. In, yeah. Cholesterol is only found in animal products. Is that in yeah, the birds being put in? That gas chamber. That's a gas chamber, yeah. In the UK, is that? Yeah, the main way they kill turkeys is in a gas chamber. The main way they kill most um, of the egg laying hens, so you know, when they lay eggs and when they, yeah. their egg production declines, they go to a gas chamber as well. Yeah. Um, is that yeah. like allowed in the UK though to, to kill all the stuff yeah. like that? Well they treat birds like products, you know what I mean? So like I don't know if you guys eat turkeys at Christmas time or anything, you probably don't celebrate don't celebrate Christmas anyway. Yeah, but like you know. I guess you don't realise what they go through until you see things like Yeah. yeah. You know, and the dairy industry is horrible too, so for cheese and milk from the cow, like they forcibly impregnate the cow and then they take her calves away, like when they, they're born, because they don't want the calf drinking the milk. And then if they're born a boy, they don't use the boys in the dairy industry, they can shoot them in the head on the farm. And then um, year after year, they get, they're being forcibly impregnated and have their calf taken. And then uh, when they, their milk production gets lower and lower and lower, they kill the, the mother as well. So in the slaughterhouse, bolt gun, head cut off, uh, you yourself, have you stopped having everything like milk and Yeah, and yeah, so we just have soya milk or oat milk or rice milk. Um, I've just realised you got vegan on your neck. Yeah, I've been vegan seven years. Oh, wow. So you're being vegan, you can be a Muslim vegan and yeah. being vegan is halal. I mean, yeah. that's only, that's the only true halal. You know, part of you oh. are Muslims, so. Yeah, 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 because there's no suffering in, yeah. the plants can't suffer. There's no halal there's slaughter no for food. carrots, like you know. Whole grains, yeah. beans, legumes, um, lentils, and all that. lentils and fruits and vegetables yeah. are the most cal uh, nutrient dense foods on earth. I mean, yeah. yeah, there's no nutrients in a steak. I mean, what's in what's in a steak? A bit of protein, a blood, iron. You know, you can get all this from the animal eats the plants to get the nutrients anyway. You know, cut out the middleman. Yeah. yeah. yeah.
But I always say like, you know, they say like cutting the animal's throat, you know, in this way for, for halal slaughter, like they still suffer, they choke on their blood, they get scared. Even if they can't see each other when they're being slaughtered, they feel the knife, they, they can't breathe. There's that fear, there's that suffering, there's nerves all in your neck. So if you can avoid that and just eat plants, why wouldn't you? I mean, it's more, it's, it's definitely no suffering in the plants. And, and a lot of uh, Muslims don't follow the animal all the way down the, the, from the farm to the butcher. They trust the butcher. The butcher says it's halal, I trust them. In yeah. UK's halal standards are much different. Uh, so they stun the animals and they, they, most of the animals here are factory farms. So suffering, if su suffering's haram, there's suffering in factory farms no matter what. And the dairy industry is always suffering because you're taking a calf's, uh, the calf's away from the mother. She suffers when she loses her babies. She suffers when she's you know, constantly being forced to be pregnant and being milked every single day, three times a day. She suffers when she's afraid in the slaughterhouse before they die. They don't know what's going on. They smell the blood and fear. You can't avoid suffering when you're eating animal products. You just can't. And now, like, um, nowadays, we don't have to do it. It's needless. So it makes it even worse. We're needlessly slaughtering animals. Yeah, yeah, I mean, no other option to understand, okay, you got to mitigate the suffering. So you try to make sure they're not scared and you try to do it quick. Yeah. Okay, but you don't have to do that. I mean, if I had to kill one of you guys in some situation, I'd want it to be quick and painless. Yeah. But I don't, right now, we don't have to do it. So it's like, kind of like, why are we doing it for? It's, it's like, yeah. Let me give you some information here. Um, so this is, um, this is a little guide. Um, these are some documentaries. This is what happens to animals in the UK. And then we've got like, how? find vegan restaurants near you. These places usually have good vegan options and what to swap meat and dairy with. And then on the on the front here, free help going vegan, challenge 22. Okay. It's all free, like, and this here's a little revamp your Christmas. So like all vegan Christmas little meals and that, you don't celebrate Christmas, but it shows you like where all good vegan stuff is anyway, so. Okay, yeah, well, thank you so much. Yeah. Really? Think about it, because you're not used to think about these kinds of like, yeah. I've been born, you know, you eat meat and stuff like that. It's just an for me. So was I. I ate meat for 26 years as well, you know. You're eating someone. Someone who had a personality, they didn't want to die. I mean, it's just so needless now. And UK is a really easy place to be vegan. Yeah. yeah. Well, good luck, guys. Nice talking to you. Take care. Bye-bye.